guys welcome back to the channel so tonight i have another dollar tree empties for you i have a lot of stuff you guys i feel like i just did one of these videos but my bag was overflowing if you saw it in the thumbnail you know so we're just gonna go ahead and get into it because i have a lot of stuff here so get a drink settle in and let's get started so first of all we did our pumpkin painting night and it was super fun if you guys need something to do like for family night or something like that even next year for Halloween. It was so fun to just lay everything out on the table and make a mess, but it wasn't a mess, I'll show you why. And um, and just paint them. I mean, I had so much fun painting pumpkins and I'm way older than someone that should have fun painting pumpkins, but I loved it, I had so much fun. So it was just a fun night. If you guys need something fun to do with your family, we really had a good time. But we used up one of the Crafter Square decorative mesh. These were the ones that are kind of, um, snow looking like they had the snow throughout them and this was the orange color and what we used this for was to make big bows to tie onto the stems of the pumpkins and just dress up a few and that looks so cute so i love this stuff i am actually i never buy it for holidays i don't know why i just never think to grab it because i don't make wreaths and i thought it's only for wreaths no there's a lot you can do with that so i'm going to be picking it up from now on because i really liked it we used two packs of the 80 piece pom-poms from Crafter Square. These were the all black pom-poms. I know you can get the multicolor as well, but I was so excited to find the black ones because that's what I was really wanting for Halloween. And I did, so we used up two packages of those. We used up one of these things of glitter, the Crafter Square glitter. You get five glitter things in here. This was the one with the silver, gold, um, green, red, and blue. And we used most of them. I think we still have a little bit of the blue and a little bit of the green. But yeah, we used a lot of it and they were really nice. I mean, they're glitter, it's good glitter. Let's see, we also used some of the faux snow from Crafter Square. We didn't use all of it, but I actually took it and put the rest in a little Ziploc baggie so that I could save it for Christmas because I really liked it. We used this on top of some of the pumpkins to make them look really sparkly and kind of textured. It turned out really cute. I'm going to show you guys the pumpkins when I do my little Halloween home slash fall home tour charcuterie board thing on Sunday. So you guys will be able to see that. But this is just, I mean, yeah, I like this and I can't wait to use it in other DIYs for Christmas because it really is pretty. Um, we used up a pack of the sequins. This is the six bags from Crafter Square. This was the one that was um, the gold colors, like the bronzy and oranges, like really fall colors. So we used those. I did one pumpkin with little sequins and I applied them each individually. That was a pain in the butt, but it was really fun. And then we also finished up using my 20 pieces of the Crafter Square glue sticks. So I had used some of these in other crafts, but we ended up using the rest of them for our pumpkins. So grab that. I mean, finished that. I, <laughs> I'm using my haul language while I'm doing my empties video. So got to switch it up. Anyways, used up that. I almost said grab that again. Oh my goodness. Sorry, guys. Anyways, last thing, and this is why it wasn't messy, is because I put this down on the table. One of these party tablecloths. This is the rectangle size, and it is in 54 inches by 108 inches. And um, it was orange, so it was festive, but I love to put these down as the first layer of anything. And then you put everything on top of it and you can make the biggest mess that you want in the whole world. And then you just have to kind of pile it into the middle, tie it up and throw it away. It's the best, it's easy cleanup. I do this every time I have my nieces and nephews over for arts and crafts. I do this when we tied our Easter eggs. I do it all the time now because it is the cheapest one dollar solution to make your cleanup really easy so if you guys need easy cleanup for your crafting try one of those tablecloths all right the next thing that i used is the decorative banner one of the halloween decorative banners i put it up in my um, kitchen and it is so cute it looks darling up there i really like this one it's really cute it was just paper pumpkins but they look really cute i'll show you guys when you do the um the home tour but I really like that banner. I'm gonna try to save it. You know, sometimes the paper banners, it's hard to save because they get really messed up, but I'm gonna try to save it, you know, put it back into a little thing. Let's see. I wanted to put this in here because I've been using it and I've been loving it. I've been using my satin pillowcase, the leopard print one. I was so excited to find it and I've been using it ever since I got it. I washed it and I've been using it and I love it. So I just wanted to let you guys know. It's so fun. 
I also used these two, the collapsible storage containers. Um, I just have a little tag from them, but I used two of them up. These are the little narrower ones, uh, um, I mean shallower ones, and um, they're 8.5 inches by 11.5 inches by 4.75 inches. These were just like the dark charcoal gray kind of color. I use these in my drawers, so these two actually went into my sock drawer to tie try to organize it a little bit, you know, more. Cause I feel like when you just throw things into the drawer, my drawers are big in my dresser. And I feel like when I just throw things in, I don't use as much of it. Like it's better when it's organized. I don't know, I find that I wear more. So yeah, grab those, use those in my sock drawer. Really like them. All right, some houseware empties. Oops, oh my, just dropped some stuff. Hold on you guys, sorry. It's all precariously balanced up here. I used up a thing of the Surefresh 13 bags of the um, little Ziploc baggies, the gallon storage containers. These are nice. I like them. Use them up. Always buy those. Will repurchase. Need to go repurchase. I used two more sets of the Ultra paper plates. These are the ones that come in 10 count. They are just a little bit sturdier white plates. I like those. Those are my favorite ones. Will repurchase. I already have repurchased and I will continue to repurchase. These are something new that I tried. These paper cups with lids, the insulated paper cups with lids. You get five in here. These are really nice, you guys. I can't believe I'd never picked them up before. I don't know why I hadn't. I think I was trying to use my reusable mugs more, you know? But these are perfect for work because I, you know, the last thing I need is two cups that I have to bring home and everything and I already have my hydro flask with me. So this is really nice that I can just throw them away at work. So yeah, love those. We'll definitely repurchase more of those. Another thing that I always buy and will continue to buy is the designer paper cups. They're like the little Dixie cups. Um, you get 36 in here and um, we use these for my grandma's medication. I've told you guys that in every single empties video and every time I haul it, it's easier for her to take them with a little cup because her hands shake. So we use those, buy those every single time I go. I used up some cleaning items. Oh, I'm gonna spill stuff, sorry guys. The first thing is this pack of the Brillo Basics Estracel sponges. And you get, this is a bonus where you get three instead of two. These were nice sponges, you guys. I actually hadn't ever bought bad bought that brand before and I really like them they were nice so I would consider getting that brand again I don't know whatever brand I see at the Dollar Tree I love their sponges I always buy the sponges there these are another thing that I absolutely adored these are the scrub buddies two in one quick eraser and you get two I like the double I like the blue and white ones better than the all white ones I don't know why it's just my preference but I really like these I bought these to try because I heard someone say they were better than the white ones. And so I bought them to try and I do like them better than the all white ones. So go get you guys some of those if you need them. I also finished up the package of Ajax laundry packs, the Extreme Clean with Dynamo gel packs. You get 16 in here. I think that was a great deal for a dollar. These worked very nice. I didn't notice any problems with them. They cleaned my clothes. It smells nice and I can't believe that I got 16 for a dollar. This is in the Mountain Air scent and it does smell really good. All right, I used up my original super glue permanent mounting tape. This is for indoor and outdoor. It's moisture resistant and it's double-sided and it's it holds up to 20 pounds. It says ceramic, glass, mirrors, plastic, and more, no nails. So you can hang things with this. Um, you can repair things with this. I love this stuff. I told you guys about it when I hauled it. I did repurchase it already because I have to have it in my life now. I didn't realize how much I needed something like this until I finally got it. And then all the uses that I've used it for, I just realized that I don't want to be without it. So yeah, used that up and did already repurchase and will continue to repurchase as well. I used up two things of the Floral and Garden Wired Juke Cord. You get 7.5 feet in here, and I actually use these for the DIYs for the pumpkins. If you guys didn't see that, that's a fun video that I did. But I did a little DIY, and I use these to make the stems for the pumpkins. So really like that. I love this stuff. I buy it for a multitude of different reasons. I actually use it in my garden. We have a rose bush that was attached to a tree. The tree got taken out, so the rose bush started to droop. So I've now tied back the rose bush to something that was kind of next to it, whatever, so that it would start to grow back upright. And it really worked well for that. Love that stuff. 
Let's see. These are actually from the 99 cent store, but it's an empty, so I'm going to show you. It is a three pack of the LED soft white bulbs from Bulbstar. They are 100 watt. Um, oh no, not a 100 watt equivalent, 16 watt dimmable. And they were, let's see, $4.99 for three. So I grabbed those at the 99 cent store because I needed some. I have some food and drink empties. Let's see, every time I go, I pick up a strawberry crush. So I have two that I saved. I forgot to save the others, but I love this stuff. It's my guilty pleasure whenever I go to the Dollar Tree and I just adore it. And then it wouldn't be an empties video of mine if it didn't have a bottle of the caffeine caffeinated water. I'm actually surprised it only has one bottle. I must have thrown away some of them, but I try to keep them for you guys. This is the Energize and Hydrate. You get 33.8 fluid ounces, 120 milligrams of cap milligrams, milligrams of caffeine per bottle. And I really like this stuff. I you can notice a difference in the way that it tastes if you drink it plain, but I add in those little flavor packets and you can't tell a difference at all. And it does help, it gives you a little bit of a boost. So Love that, we'll continue to repurchase that. Have some in my fridge already. I also used, used, no I didn't use this, I drank this. I drank a Minute Maid Super Smoothie, the orange pineapple drink blend, five grams of sugar and protein, 60 calor calories per box. This was okay, I didn't love the flavor. I thought I would love orange and pineapple, but it had a little bit more pina colada taste and I don't love that kind of a, I love pina colada, but I don't love the taste of it kind of watered down in a drink. I don't know how to explain that. I didn't love it. So I'm, I know they have other flavors. I, I It was good. It wasn't that it was bad. It's just not my favorite flavor, so I wouldn't reach for it every morning. But I definitely want to try the other flavors because I think it's amazing that you get five grams of protein. So if I can find a flavor that I like and I can drink this in the morning on my way to work, that will definitely help me out. Keeping me feel more full, giving me more energy, just multiple benefits. Let's see, we used up a Swiss Mist Marshmallow Hot Cocoa Mix. You get six bags in here. It's delicious. This is the one with the mini marshmallows. They're fantastic. Love hot chocolate. Love it right now. This time of the year is when I really get into hot chocolate and even more into coffee. So I'm really excited for this season because I love hot chocolate and coffee. Let's see, I had made this for my grandmother and she loves this. It is the Nissen Nissen chow mein teriyaki beef flavor it's the packaging of it and it just comes all ready for you to just make you just have to add your sauce and and some water and microwave it and um you get four ounces in here and they're just chow mein noodles she loves this she loves them so much so i always buy them for her okay i ate them and i liked them these are the redbird candy puffs in the strawberry flavor everyone has been hauling them i felt fomo so i wanted to try them and they are good i liked them i love anything strawberry so it really wasn't a stretch for me to like them but i did like them i have a couple of things of gum here i have one of the extra sweet watermelon and one of the wrigley's double mint each one of these comes with four packs and I always buy my gum at the Dollar Tree. Um, they come in smaller little packages so it's easier for me to put in my little bag for work. At work, under the cabinet, we're only allowed to have like a little kind of makeup bag type of a thing with some of our essentials in it. Gum is my essentials so I put a little thing of that in there. I also put some of these in there because they were individually wrapped and I've never seen this before and these are these Mentos and they're the fruit flavor. You get 23 in here and they were individually wrapped which I don't know, am I the only one that finds that pretty amazing? You can see there in the back, you get um, strawberry, orange, and lemon. And yeah, they were individually wrapped. I think that's just so fantastic to be able, because I love Mentos, but you don't open the thing and don't finish it. So I think that's fantastic that they're individually wrapped and you can enjoy them like that. All right, let's see. Let me do a few of Chloe's empties because you know, that girl has some empties. She finished five, five, five of the Molly's Market Deli Turkey Stick for Dogs. They're 100% natural. They're from Molly's Market. They're no nitrites or nitrates. Soy free, made in the USA. She loves these, you guys. She goes bananas over them. When she hears the package open, I'm sure she can hear them from the other side of the house where she's at right now. And she's headed this way. These are her favorite. If you guys have a puppy or a pupper, I meant to say pupper because they don't have to be a puppy. Chloe's not a puppy, but she loves these so much. So obviously I have multiples. So if you guys see those, grab them for your dogs. It is a great deal and they are really good. 
She also really liked, I actually have been scoring well on the treats lately. She's liked all the ones that I've grabbed her. So I'm going to keep buying them. I tried the dog treats Foppers, the Gourmet Pet Treat Bakery, and um, Peanut Butter Mini Bones. And these say that they have four simple ingredients. They're also made in the USA. And they really do only have four ingredients. They're wheat flour, rolled oats, vegetable oil, and peanut flavor. So yeah, she likes these. I was surprised that she likes them because she usually doesn't like hard treats, but as long as I break them for her, she really likes these. So happy about that. And then these she also really liked, which I was surprised. When I bought these, I was thinking, mm, she might not like these so much, but I'm gonna give them a try. She actually really liked them. They are the Lassie Natural Way Selects Chicken, Rice, and Cranberry Formula Jerky Strips. Yeah, who would have known? Who would have known she loved these? She loves them. So yeah, I'm gonna keep looking for treats and getting them at Dollar Tree for her because she seems to love them. All right, let's see here. We have quite a few health and beauty empties and then we'll be finished. All right, no explanation needed, but I used a pack of the Sure-Free Maxi Pads. You get 16 in here and I just needed them in a pinch. Got them, they worked, liked them. Um, I used the Beauty Collection Blender Sponge. This was one that came in a little bag. It was like a marbled pink and white. It worked nice. It was fine. It was a little tougher than I usually like. I like them to be a little bit softer, so it was a little firmer than I would love, but it worked nice. It put on my makeup and I don't have any complaints. So if you guys see those in your store, grab them. Especially if you like a firmer blender, you might really like it. I just like mine to be really cushy. I used up a 32 count of the Bolero Cleanse and Hydrate Facial Wipes infused with jojoba oil. I liked these a lot. They smelt fantastic. I love when they have a window. I've told you guys that before. I feel like they keep them fresher longer. Not that, I mean, I use them fast enough to where they're not gonna run out of moisture anyways, but just in case, I like to have the little door on it. So yeah, love these, love them. We'll continue to buy my wipes at Dollar Tree because it's so much cheaper than buying them anywhere else and they work just the same. So love these. Have another one that I'm working on right now, but I will definitely repurchase my wipes from the Dollar Tree. I used up one of the Bath & Beauty Micellar Cleansing Waters. Cleanse and hydrates, all in one, no rinsing, no alcohol, no residue. All skin types, e <laughs> all skin types, even sensitive. Sorry, trying to talk too fast. Yeah, I used up a whole bottle of this stuff. I really like this stuff. I think it's comparable to any other micellar water that you could buy anywhere. And for a dollar, you can't find that anywhere else. And it really does work. So I will be repurchasing this. I'm sad that it's gone, but I will buy it again. I also used up an entire Bolero Soothing Facial Toner. This one is the Rose Water and Aloe for all skin types, advanced formula. I liked this stuff, you guys. It was really refreshing. It smelled really good. It felt really nice going on. It lasted me a really long time. I really like this. I would definitely repurchase that. I have two medicine empties. I used up one of the Value Help Allergy Relief. These are just like the Benadryl and they're 36 tablets. I always buy that there. I didn't save the bottle, sorry, but I did save the bottle to this one instead of the box. This is the Ready In Case Ibuprofen um, 40 coated tablets. Always buy that from there as well. Oh, I used up this. This is the, I recently hauled this for my feet and it actually really did help with the blisters. I kind of wrapped my heel in it. I don't know how to, how else to explain it. You know, I kind of wrapped my heel in it. And this is the um, Curad Performance Series Self-Adherent Wrap. Sticks to itself without adhesive, easily tears by hand. That's true. It sticks to itself, it tears easily by hand, it comes off evil, evilly. <laughs> No, it doesn't come off evilly. It comes off easily. Yeah, I really like this stuff. I will buy this again if I see it. I was surprised to find it. It's a name brand. And I mean, they always have the Curad products, so I might be able to find it again, but I'm excited about it if I do, because I really did like it and it did work for my little heels and my blisters. All right, I used up a package of the Extra Care Hand Sanitizer. This is the two pack, and this is the one with moisturizers and vitamin E. I always buy my hand sanitizer from there. I've already repurchased these. I like the size of these. They're a little bit bigger and I just take them to work with me in my little bag. Oh, I'm so sad that this is gone. I'm so sad that this is gone and I need to find it. I haven't been seeing it at my stores, but I have my fingers crossed that I'm gonna find it again. This is the Skin Nutrition Botanicals Hyaluronic Acid 1% plus vitamin C serum. I 
adore these serums so much. I think that they are well worth more than a dollar. I cannot believe they're only a dollar. They are very nice. They feel wonderful on the skin. They actually work. They gave a lot of moisture to my skin. I really hope that I can find this again because I am sad that it's gone and I'm actually missing it in my skincare routine. If you guys see these serums, any of them, they have the Night Repair. They now have a new vitamin C one. They have this hyaluronic acid. Grab them. They are really that good. Let's see, I used up, and I'm really sad that it's gone, and it is the Maybelline Superstay Foundation Stick that everyone is hauling from Dollar Tree, and I used mine up. Super sad. I didn't use the little sponge on the, I didn't even take it out of the plastic, so I didn't use the sponge. I just used it with my regular brushes and sponges for my makeup. I do think that I'm going to try to dig the rest of it, like the little bit that's left there, out and put it onto like a palette or something so that I can use the rest of it because I did love this foundation. So I'm probably going to dig it out and use the rest of it, but I wanted to show you guys because I won't save the container after that. So used up my Super Stay. Let's see. There we go. Super Stay. Super excited. I loved finding that Dollar Tree for a dollar and it was a really nice foundation. If you guys see that, pick it up. Let's see, I used a thing of the Ioni Everlasting Lash Glue. This is 100% vegan. I like this lash glue. I actually was pleasantly surprised with it. It's very nice. Um, it's clear. It, um, it works very nicely. It stayed on all day long. My lashes did not come off, so I definitely like this. It says it's a quick drying, strong hold lash glue to last you throughout the day. I agree. It definitely did last all day long. It's quick drying. I really liked it. If you guys see that, pick it up if you wear lashes. I don't wear lashes that often, but when I do, um, I'll be using that glue. <laughs> all right. I used up a few face masks. I used the detoxifying bubble mask from e.l.f. This says refresh, reset your skin, no juice cleanse necessary. So it was the bubbling one. Um, it was interesting. It was interesting. I don't know if I would get it again. I don't know if I'll do another bubble mask. I didn't love the the feeling of it on, I, I don't know. I didn't love the, 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 the bubbles, I guess. I didn't love the bubbles. So I don't think I'll buy another bubble mask, but it was definitely fun to try one. I wanted to try it. I gave it a try. Not necessarily my main cup of tea. Maybe I'll buy one. I don't know. We'll see. But it was nice. It left my skin feeling really good afterwards. So that's what you want. I used one of these. Um, I actually got this from Bonnie when she sent me my package. Oh, if you're not following her over at Bonbons Halls, what are you doing with your life? She's fantastic. Go follow her. But she bought me this. And it is the Broadway Beauty Bamboo Facial Sheet Mask. Pore minimizing charcoal, dermatologist tested, draws out impurities, and renews skin inspired by K-Beauty. This was a really nice mask, you guys. I really like this. I feel like it really cleaned out my pores and made my skin look really nice. It kind of felt like it shrink, shr shrinked. That's not a word. Is it shrinked? Shrinked? It shrinked it? Yeah, it is. It's a word. What am I talking about? I'm tired, you guys. It is very late that I'm filming this. It's been a very long day. Let's continue, shall we? Anyways, it shrunk my pores visibly. I actually noticed a difference. So if you guys see this Broadway base, Broadway beauty mask, any of these, I really like them. Super excited, looking forward to finding more of those because they really did work. Another one that I bought a package of, so I used up two of these, um, they are the Luxima Cosmetics Made in Korea Beyond Belief Purifying Charcoal Mask with Glycerin and Green Tea Extract. I used up two of these. And these were also very nice. They they didn't shrink my pores as much as this one did, but they did, um, you know, um, pull out the impurities and really detoxify my pores. So I did like that. So I have a few more of these still to use, and I'm definitely going to use them. I think they're nice. I love getting masks at the Dollar Tree. I think that that's a great deal for a dollar, so I will continue to buy them. Um, these were the little pain relief patches. I'm sorry, I tore off where it says pain, but they were the Camphor 1.2%, Menthol 5.7%, Methic Salis Salicylate 6.3%. They're all topical analgesics. Um, you got 20 patches in here and they were just really little. They were the size of the package, so they weren't very big, but they came to a thing. And so you could put like one on each side of your lower back and they really helped. So I'm hoping that I can find these again. I haven't seen them yet. They come in a little box and they sell them by the little, um, pain relief cream and stuff like that. So I'm hoping to find these again because they really did work very well. 
something that I'm not going to repurchase that didn't really work very well for me. And I, I, I'll tell you why I'm not going to repurchase it right now. But it is the Coralite Pain Relief Balm Ultra Strength with Camphor 11%, Menthol 11%. Um, it's this tiny little jar of it. First of all, that's why I'm not going to repurchase it because it's teeny, teeny, itty bitty, tiny. And it only, I only used it in a few uses. I mean, it's nothing. It was like a petroleum jelly kind of a consistency. You can see there's a tiny, itty bitty bit more in there. I did scrape it all out. But um, I can smell it right now because it does smell like menthol. It's very nice. It's not that it's bad. It just doesn't do enough. It kind of has a tiny bit of warming and a little bit of um, like the icy hot kind of a feeling, but not enough to notice a difference or to make it really help. So I'm not going to be repurchasing this one. I definitely would try a different one from the Dollar Tree though, just not this one. All right, we're headed to the end guys. I used up two more of my Global Beauty Care Hydrogel Under Eye Pads, the Retinol and the Gold. Still love these. I think they're so fun to use. They're really cooling on the eyes. I really like putting these on before I do my makeup. And then I used up one of the Village Naturals Therapy Aches and Pains Cold and Allergy Relief Concentrated Mineral Bath Soaks. They sell a bunch of different ones of these. I really like this one. I was sick. I got in the bath. I used it. It really did help. It has Epsom salt, uh, menthol to soothe and comfort, lemon and ginger to lift your spirits. I mean, how, how much more could you ask for than to lift your spirits with a bath salt? All right, I have three more things and then we'll be done. Sorry, I used up a bunch. I told you guys, it's crazy. I finished the Global Beauty Care Aqua Sleepy Mask plus Hyaluronic Acid Overnight Revitalizing Gel Mask. You get 1.7 ounces in here. You guys can see it is gone. I'm sad that it's gone. I really did like this. This is actually comparable to the Laneige Lips, no, not the Lip Sleepy Mask, the Laneige Water Sleepy Mask. Um, it's an overnight treatment just like this. It's the same kind of a consistency. I doubt it has all the active ingredients that that one has, being that it's very much more expensive. But I think this did a great job of moisturizing my skin at nighttime. I like to put it on top of everything. It kind of just sealed everything in and it was nice and cooling and thin and it wasn't thick. It didn't feel heavy, so it was really nice for summer. I'm probably gonna switch to a little bit of a heavier one for winter, but I like this. All right, I finished up the Global Beauty Care Lift and Firm Eye Cream with Collagen and Peptides. I think I already told you guys in a review video that I'm not going to be repurchasing this. Um, it's not moisturizing enough for my skin. I really have dry under eyes, so I need something a little more heavy duty. So I did finish it out, but I will definitely not be repurchasing this. It's a very nice eye cream if you don't need anything heavy duty. This is beautiful. It just didn't work for me. And then the last thing that I used is the Skim Nutrition's Age Defy Dark Circle, I can't talk, Dark Circle and Puffiness Serum. And it's this little rollerball eye treatment. The rollerball was really nice and cooling. It felt really good going on. Did it do anything to my under eyes? I don't think so. I don't, I don't think so at all. It might have moisturized them an itty bitty bit. Oops, throwing it. I might have moisturized them a tiny bit, but it didn't do much anything other than that. So I don't think I'll be repurchasing this. Maybe I will. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe something will spark my interest or I'll want to give it another try. It's not that it was bad by any means. It was just, um, it didn't do anything visibly. You know, it felt really nice going on. It probably gave me a little bit more moisture, but it didn't do anything fantastic. All right, the last thing I wanna tell you guys about, that was the last empties, but I need to tell you guys about this because I'm afraid that some of you are gonna buy it because I recently hauled it, um, but this doesn't work. I don't know if I got a dead one or what, but it doesn't work, it doesn't come out. Nothing comes out of the rollerball. So this is the flower under eye cover cream that I recently hauled, literally a few days ago, and I was so excited to get it and super excited to use it, and when I took it out, it's like, um, you guys can see that some of it's coming out, but none of it, watch. It doesn't come out, nothing comes out. I even tried rolling the roller ball myself and you can see some stuff coming out, but nothing, nothing comes out. So I don't know if it's dried up, if I got a dud or what, but I would definitely probably pass on this if you see this in your store just because I didn't, I mean, I'm not bummed because it was a dollar, but I was hoping that it would work and I was really kind of excited about it and it doesn't even come out. So be careful of this. 
All right, that does it. So if you stayed with me to the end of this, I really appreciate it. I know that it was a long video. I hope that you liked it. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up. If you're new, I would love it if you would subscribe, join the rest of the family. And yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. Until the next time that I see you guys, take care. Oh, sorry.